Uh, Rob and I really both believe that storytelling is just a crucial skill that you got to be good at if you want to do good in social environments or on dates or when you get a girl back to your place. Now, the good news is, is that it really doesn't take a lot to be above average storyteller. And in fact, if you're not already using stories with girls, it's probably because you set the bar too high and you have this belief that a story needs to be amazing. It's got to be, uh, you know, some, some crazy twist or some punchline or something really out of the ordinary happens. And as you're going to see in this series of videos, that's just not the case. The type of stories that you use in like a social situation or on a date, they're really just meant for a few key purposes. So, I like to think of it as conversation navigation, where you take a story and you use it to seamlessly move the conversation along, specifically in the direction that you want it to go in. And stories are great for this um, because, because of a couple of reasons, really. One is they're very under the radar, which means that you can communicate certain things that you couldn't say outright. Um, they, 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 they put the person listening in a trance-like state. We're programmed to listen to stories. When somebody goes into a story, there's a part of our brain that's like, I need to hear this. And it's very, very powerful in a dating sort of social uh, environment. There's also the reciprocity effect. When you share a story, right? When you tell a story, when you open up a little bit, the woman you're talking to, she's going to feel the need to re reciprocate and tell a story too. Um, stories can have a handful of purposes, right? Uh, first and above, one of my favorite ways to use a story is to get out of interview mode, right? There's always going to be that interview mode. And the best thing to do is use a light story, um, you know, to, to demonstrate a little social intelligence, a little bit of status. Now, unlike the old mystery method types of recommending, you know, where you tell these absurd stories about driving a limousine full of, um, you know, Victoria's Secret models and shit like that. Uh, there's really, uh, you know, the type of stories that we're talking about in terms of status, they're really just meant to give a girl a glimpse of your personality. Um, we don't get to know somebody when they recite facts about their lives to us. We get to know them when they tell a story from their per point of view, when they give us a, a little glimpse of what's going through their mind. Uh, the second thing that, that stories do is they allow you to do that R-rated switch, right? And this is where you use a story to introduce something a little more sexual into the conversation, right? Uh, to create some underlying sexual tension, uh, to transition into making more flirtatious observations about her. So in the next video, Rob is going to be walking you through an example of exactly how to do this. Uh, the second thing, which is uh, using these R-rated stories. And he's going to use a story that he told recently, and he's going to walk you through it sort of line by line. And finally is the type of story I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about in this one, which is a connection story. And this is really just a light, entertaining type of story, usually uh, about a childhood memory or something like that, that really gives her a glimpse of you and humanizes you. Now with this type of story, what you're ultimately looking to demonstrate is a quality that I call cool vulnerability. And I discovered this quality by watching real high status guys talk to girls. And I paid attention to the types of stories that they were telling. And what I noticed, it was never those limousine Victoria's Secret models, right? So I, I put together a video, it's, it's, it's right after this. It's Matthew McConaughey. And he's telling this type of story. And I want you to pay attention now, because a lot of guys, right, when you get nervous, uh, you get a girl back to your house and, and all of a sudden you're, you don't know what to say, you don't know how to create the vibe, you don't know how to move things forward. I want you to listen to the story that Matthew McConaughey is telling in this video. And imagine being back at your place with a girl.